I was going to do some uh, super cool intro type thing, but uh, let's just cut to the chase. So yeah, basically I've got my Nexus 7 tablet right up here, my Bluetooth keyboard right down here, PS3 controller in hand, and we are going to play some TIE Fighter. Now, uh, I can't believe I'm the only one who's ever done this. I looked up TIE Fighter Android on YouTube, but I only and I didn't see any videos on it, so I'm going to make a video on it. So yeah, let's just go into our DOS emulator here. I'm using DOSBox Turbo. There we go. <laughs> I guess it didn't register. Um, so yeah, I got three games in here. TIE Fighter, Wing Commander 1, and Wing Commander 2. So yeah, let's just start up TIE Fighter so I can just show you that it works. Isn't that freaking cool? Yeah, I know it sounds like shit. I'm sorry. I just can't figure out how to configure the MIDI on Android. Although I guess I could play around with the settings or something. I don't know. But um, I just decided to stick with the default settings. All right, let's skip this. Center joystick and press button, got it. Move joystick to top left and press button, got it. Move joystick to bottom right and press button, got it. Center joystick and press button. Enter your name, pilot. Yeah, you don't want to screw up that joystick calibration, otherwise it'll fuck you up. You might be wondering to yourself, what in the world are those on-screen buttons, Venomous Woe? Well, those are a joystick and the two buttons associated with it. The only way I could get this to work was if I mapped the PS3 controller to on-screen buttons. So I just enabled on-screen buttons and settings, and uh, yeah, I mapped the PS3 controller buttons using the six-axis application. You have to be root in order to use it, though, which sucks. You might have better luck if you use a different gamepad. I think the PS3 gamepad kind of sucks, personally, at least with DOSBox. Works fine with everything else, though. Alright. So, let's see. What shall we do? Let's go in the tech room for a bit, just to show you the badass 3D DOS models. <laughs> Alright, advanced assault gunboat. The Salt Gunboat is a badass ship, even though it's not that good. <laughs> Looks like a shark, kinda. Right, let's go to the training simulator. Let's do this thing. Where are those targets? There's some. No, I suck at this game. <laughs> Can't see the timer. There's the timer. Did I even hit that? God, I'm so bad at this game. Although it could be the sensitivity of the joystick, I don't know. I've been trying, I've been working like hell to get the joystick working right. Max space. Thank you. 
All right, so I completed the first level. Ooh, look, now they added floating balls. Shoot the balls, shoot the balls. Gosh, I'm doing a lot better than I did with the missile boat. Then again, the missile boat just tends to fly through these tunnels. Now let's just do one more level, then we'll call it quits for today. Oops. Max base. I like how they add newer obstacles as you get further into the simulator. Fuck all common sense. Let's just fly into the tunnels. All right, so that's the end of that level. Well, I will see you all next time, guys. I paused the game. It's not broken. Don't worry. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Yays!